CEO meetings. Uh, the Foundry holds periodic meetings for uh, the CEOs or the team leads, team captains uh, of the companies inside um, inside of the program. A bunch of reasons for this. Uh, it goes part and parcel with some of the other videos you've probably watched already. The management report, that's the weekly document, the MOKER, uh, that's the three month strategy document, and then project reviews, those periodic monthly meetings. Um, what we also do are once weekly meetings of a cohort of CEOs, meaning we group together the companies that participate in the foundry into a group usually of about 20, and the heads of all of those teams meet once a week uh, for about an hour. Um, we try to keep it you know, sharp to an hour so it doesn't drag on. Uh, and they prepare management reports, those, the documents that you've watched um, the other video around. They prepare those reports and they pay special attention to the problem section uh, inside of the management reports. Reason being that the goal of these meetings is to have the CEOs read one another's problems uh, as a group so that they can stay without spending too much time can stay up to speed on what the other companies are doing and also so that they can lend a hand in solving those problems that's the core focus of the meeting uh, it is a peer driven and group oriented activity it's the only thing really that's required at the foundry's attendance at this meeting um, so you know what are we doing in this meeting and what's the point of what we're doing uh, the first is we're trying to facilitate peer driven problem solving uh, we have a big belief here that mentors, while um, interesting and effective and sometimes helpful for companies, uh, it's often problem solving happens through peer groups. Um, you go to either a, uh, your own personal network or a group of, of like-minded individuals to try and solve those problems. So we find that pooling everyone's resources, even in a small way, can be very effective uh, and it helps build connections away from the Monday morning meetings. What this means is that, you know, say someone has a, they need to build a website. Uh, more often than not, there's somebody in that room that understands how to build websites and has built them before and can lend them some advice and guidance in that process. Uh, instead of going out and hiring someone to do it right away, uh, they can help sort of educate one another around um, tackling some of those problems. Also, uh, not, you know, the meeting's only an hour long, so we couldn't possibly facilitate all that problem solving amongst individuals. Instead, what it does is, you will walk away from the meeting and set up a time to sit down and talk with one another. So it helps build connections away from the foundry, um, our process in particular. It helps you build connections on your own. Um, the second thing, which is sort of part and parcel with the first, is we really want to emphasize network building and how important personal networks are. Um, you know, big complex problems like starting a company don't get solved by a single individual. Uh, it takes a lot of people's help and participation to grow any company. So we believe that personal networks are extremely important uh, and they can be very helpful tools in, in you accomplishing any task, uh, especially something as complex as growing a company. Um, and like this says here, you know, most large problems are solving groups. Um, very rarely is one person doing it all. And we believe that your network becomes really, really important uh, to the potential success of your company. Uh, it's how good are you at building the network, effectively using people's times, and also um, giving back to other folks in your network when they have problems. Uh, that sort of tit for tat is what uh, drives uh, successful and vibrant personal networks. And then the third is um, identify and publicize problems. This is actually sort of a sneaker in that uh, all the other docs that we use and some of the processes we use, they call attention to problems and, and um, they're supposed to help you seek advice. Uh, this is actually a problem for a lot of entrepreneurs. They try to bootstrap things and do things themselves, and they don't often go out and seek advice from their networks uh, in order to solve those problems. So this really sort of forces you to do that. There's no way around publishing a problem section in your management report and having other people read it. So people will know uh, what types of problems you're struggling with. And then last uh, and least is governance and management details. This is definitely the sort of the smallest thing on the list. There are a certain amount of foundry governance and management issues that get discussed in those meetings, uh, just around how the foundry actually works. The reason this is important is because the foundry isn't an invention of some smart entrepreneurs that know what they're doing. It's really just a collective um, governance system that's created by the people who participate. So a lot of what we do is subject to change and will change over time uh, because we're constantly gathering feedback and asking the CEOs what they feel like is effective and what is not effective. So. I don't want you guys to get the impression that these systems are at all static. Uh, if you've watched the Moker video, the management report video, project reviews, or 
CEO meetings, they do change over time. Um, so this actually becomes fairly important. That's our pulpit for discussing those things. So that's the idea behind the CEO meetings. Um, once a week, it's an hour long, and you get in a room with all the other CEOs, uh, the head of the teams, and you're really trying to build a network and use that network to solve problems.